Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're going to be uh, installing a DSC IT100. Uh, this is the integration module so you can incorporate your security DSC security panel uh, into a control system like a lawn that we are actually doing here. This is a Milan G1 controller. Um, this is their entry level controller. You can actually do a basic system uh, in a home with this. There are some limitations. In this home we actually have a GSC2, uh, which is a step up from this. can support uh, a full home with the exception of a pool controller uh, that would require GSC10. So with the uh, GSC2 uh, as our main controller in the equipment closet, uh, basically for simplicity, simplicity's sake with uh, installation we're going to be putting a G1. Um, here. So what we're going to do is the uh, DSC power series, this is the PC1616 in here. As you see, you have the main control uh, board for the um, control or the uh, security system, I have our backup battery. In our wire path uh, kit here, this is our structured wiring panel. We did replace this. Uh, there was a 14-inch panel in here before, about this big. Uh, we cut it out, replaced it with a 28-inch panel, and that is measured vertically. We're able to put a uh, Rackness 16 port PoE switch. This is going to go all the way up to a 48 port, um, but uh, we just want the 16 port in this situation. This is the um, the router and our cable modem. We actually have our Lutron uh, Rady Rod 2 connect bridge here as well. Um, so what we're going to actually do is run, since this is uh, powered through PoE or power over Ethernet, we're going to run a uh, an Ethernet jumper through the hole here, down into the panel. Um, and plug it into the PoE switch. We're also going to run our uh, cable, uh, a grounding cable actually, right here. So we can uh, run it through the wall so we can get a, an earth ground on the DSC panel and the IT100 um, uh, board. Um, so we're actually going to go through our watt box down here as a grounding post uh, that goes into the earth ground so that we can uh, ensure we're all safe from uh, surges and, and, um, and things like that. So. Um, we are going to um, go ahead and uh, get everything installed. So what we'll do with the Elan piece here is we're going to use some heavy duty Velcro and attach it right here um, so that we can actually use the adapter piece and just plug it right into the uh, IT100. So we're going to go ahead and get that installed. Inside the IT100 box you've got the clips so that we can mount the, um, this is what they look like here, so we can mount the board to the, the panel. And uh, inside our static bag, we have uh, the piece here. So these four uh, terminals are what's going to uh, connect it to the, um, the DSC main board. And then we have our DB9 connector for our RS232. That back in here for safekeeping. And we'll go ahead and uh, get installed. Enjoy.
All right, so you can see we have the Elan panel mounted right here. The uh, Ethernet patch cord is going down into the wire path panel. Comes down here and goes right into the switch. We also have the ground coming from here, comes all the way down and comes in right here. The IT100 piece, the DSE IT100, you can see that it is actually all connected here, comes around and is all connected into the appropriate spots here. We're all color coded, pretty straightforward. Um, ground is in there. The uh, RS-232 is connected right there and comes into the RS-232 input on the controller. So that is how you hook up and connect the uh, DSC IT100 module that connects into the uh, Power Series uh, PC 1616. So what I'm doing right now is actually going through and setting the alarm off for each zone. Uh, each zone has to be faulted to integrate into uh, your control system, whether it's a lawn or otherwise. Uh, there's a lot of DIY options out there, but like I said, we're doing a lawn here. So uh, it definitely needs to be uh, each zone faulted. The nice thing about a lawn is with um, the IT100 is it actually automatically imports the zone based on the fault. So uh, from there we can go in and rename it and do whatever we want with it from there. All right guys, so once you're in the Elan interface, it's real simple to control your uh, DSC or any uh, security system here. So you just tap on the security system. Uh, you go down to your security system uh, partition here. Right now it shows as disarmed. It shows all zones ready, no faults. If a door window was open, um, it would actually show that uh, you do have a system fault. So it is ready to arm. So what we're going to do is actually go over to the uh, away tab. And if you put in the, the code, uh, it will actually start showing. Uh, so I did put that uh, and put the code on a different um, on a different panel here. But you can see now that it does say arming. So what uh, that will take the normal 30 seconds to arm. While we're doing that, uh, waiting for that to show up, what you can do is uh, there's various different things. Um, the IT100 does not support uh, individual zone bypassing, but if it did, it would show up on this tab. Uh, from there, you can actually go to this graph and see each uh, zone and how it um, the state of it. So you can actually see that at the top, and at what time? So at the top, you can see that it was armed from all these uh, from different times. So um, until about uh, approximately, if you can go right there. So until approximately uh, about 8:30 this morning, uh, 8:26 to be exact, it was armed. Um, it shows when different uh, zones were faulted, meaning the door was opened, um, and you can just scroll across here. Uh, you can actually zoom in using uh, pinch to zoom, or you can scroll across. Um, using the sliders at the bottom, you can zoom out, zoom in, scroll across, etc. from here. Uh, so it's really nifty and uh, handy to be able to see uh, hands-on immediately what your um, the status of each zone is. So if we go back over uh, to here, you can now see that uh, it is armed. You can see that all zones are ready and no system faults as well. So what we can do here now is if we want to disarm it, you would just go over to the disarm tab and uh, we'll do that here. So now it is uh, ready to arm. So if you actually just change, it shows ready to arm. So if you wanted to see uh, what that does, if you open a door, so we're going to go to open a door here and unlock that. So it shows zone status, the front door is faulted. So if you opened up any other zones, uh, it also shows up almost immediately as you could see there. So guys, if you uh, need help installing any um, security systems, surveillance cameras, uh, control systems, automation, uh, we of course install a lawn and we'll have some more videos coming on on that integration with uh, whole home audio, video, surveillance systems. Uh, obviously we can control your um, security panels with those as well. So we'll be getting more into that for you. I uh, look forward to uh, coming out with the next video.
Uh, give us a call, Pure Media Systems, 972-905-0556, or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks, guys.